First at five, asking about other suspects. The defense for Christian Bahena Rivera continues to try to cast doubt over whether their client killed Molly Tibbetts. He's charged with first degree murder in connection with her death nearly three years ago. But Bahena Rivera's attorneys have been trying to shift blame to Tibbetts' longtime boyfriend. It's week two of the Bahena Rivera trial, and the prosecution called another round of investigators to the stand today to review, refute that theory before resting their case. KCCI's Chris Gothner has been listening to testimony all day. He's live in Davenport to tell us about the sometimes tense exchanges. Yeah, Stephen Stacey, it wasn't just Dalton Jack. Defense attorneys continue to press investigators on a number of potential alternative suspects as they try to make the case that law enforcement did not thoroughly vet others who may have killed Molly Tibbetts. They had this exchange with DCI Special Agent Trent Villita about a man who lives nearby where Tibbetts' body was found, who they say was alleged to have a history of sexual violence. Talk to Ron Pexa after Molly Tibbetts' body was found, did you? Uh, we didn't need to. You didn't find it a bit ironic that this man who you have two tips on, on, the body was found a quarter mile from his house? I would say Christian Rivera cleared Ron Pexa. Question was, you didn't find it a bit ironic that this man you received at least two tips on, the body was found a quarter mile from his house? No, not at all. Now, about 45 minutes later, prosecutor Scott Brown got a chance to question Billita again, leading to this dramatic exchange as Brown tried to erase any doubt in jurors' minds as to who committed this crime, saying only one man led investigators to her body. Any of the other men that you interviewed at all give you that type of information? No. One person in this case, is that right? That's correct, yes. That person is the man seated here to my right, Christian Rivera, would you agree? Yes. Did you develop any other lead or find any other reason that Molly Tibbetts' blood would have been connected to the vehicle exclusively driven by the defendant? No. Only the defendant, correct? Correct. He told us that she would be in the trunk. One person. Right. That's all. State medical examiner Dr. Dennis Klein was also called to the stand today to testify to the autopsy of Molly Tibbetts. Jurors once again saw graphic images and heard graphic descriptions of Tibbetts' body as well as stab wounds on her body. The state also heard from one more forensic witness before arresting its case. We're expecting to hear the defense's opening statements tomorrow morning when this case starts back up. They, of course, deferred that until the end of the prosecution's case. We're live in Davenport. Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.